We were approached by Coventry Cyrenians um, who'd been donated uh, counterfeit goods by Coventry Trading Standards to see if they could um, unpick the logos and the branding and then sell them on um, to make some money for the charity. Uh, Angela Armstrong, who's of course the fashion, and I looked at the garments, looked at what they were asking us and decided that it wasn't possible because by the time you'd unpicked the branding or cut out the logos, there was nothing left. The garments had no value or were unwearable. So we suggested to Commentary Sirenes that we could uh, do a project with the students and develop the, the counterfeit goods into new products once we could remove the branding. The project that we're working on at the moment is called Refresh Fashion. In it, at the moment, students are working on promoting the um, the brand that is Refresh Fashion, which has been developed with the charity Coventry Cyrenians, um, which works with the local uh, homeless community. Students have an opportunity to promote themselves as well as to promote the charity and also have an opportunity to network within the area and within the, um, the store itself. My name is Angie Sanchez and I'm doing fashion design at Coventry University. I get to um, make up my own brands, I get to design my own clothes, I get to um, make the clothes and then eventually sell them within the store. So we get to see how well we can uh, sell our own products. I love that I get the opportunity to gain work experience by working here and also knowing that it's also for a good cause as well. And for myself, I get work experience, I get involved with the visual merchandising within the window. I sort of look at the stock that goes into the shop as well, so I sort of get a first-hand experience learning about that. The counterfeit goods, if they're not um, upcycled, then they probably end up as landfill, which is uh, a waste because they're brand new products, the fabric's brand new, um, it's a shame for them to end up in landfill. Um, there are different models about uh, different people working around the country using counterfeit goods, but this is seen as a really leading uh, project. One of the long-term aims is that we will work with the clients. The clients of the charity tend to be young people. There's a lot of young people that become homeless. There is a workshop space that's with the shop, so the idea is that students will come and run workshops with the clients and teach them how to make certain products, some things that can be more mass-produced, um, so they might be able to actually make things and have them sold in store, which would be fantastic.